What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of the Uprise series. Joe is the end here and today we are at a brand new gym. We're testing out a brand brand new gym. This is called the Super Gym here in Rijswijk. It's near where I live, the Hague. And today we are with What's none up, other than Rodley Moore. We are gonna be killing a upper body and lower body session. Uh, yeah, a full body workout, okay? We're gonna be killing it nonetheless and trying out different equipment, okay? It's a great way to keep yourself motivated. It's uh, just out a new gym. So today I'm pumped. We are freaking pumped and excited. right there okay you you what has been his biggest biggest challenges throughout this journey right now he has been on a diet break for about three weeks this this will be his third week because well it's been a long time biting and uh, it can be very taxating on the body you know but it's been a long time a long time and a lot of progress made but it is a challenge it is a journey and it brings challenges with itself okay so today i actually wanted to discuss that with him we wanted to just have a conversation where he shares his uh, biggest uh, challenges and his most uh, yeah, difficult times during this freaking awesome journey okay so stick around for the same all right guys so we are here doing some cardio after a freaking awesome session are you kidding Ain't nobody doing any cardio over here, okay? <laughs> but we had we had a really, very 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 fun session, a killer session. And right now we're just gonna sit and just have a conversation about, uh, I mean, how you're feeling, you know, after being on a diet for so long, uh, after all the progress you've made, after training for so long, and after having a diet break right now, you know, just about your journey in general, just to kind of share your your thoughts and uh, what what. Your, your overall experience, you know, with the with the journey and the, to motivate some someone out there that might need it, you know. Yeah. So, uh, how are you feeling? Huh? What what's been like to, to to be on a diet for for 20 plus weeks? Huh? Tell us about it. Right now, I feel great because I'm I'm on a diet break. All right. It's my third week of, uh, on a diet break. Yeah. I've been losing uh, since since I started like one uh, kg per week. One kg per week, and that was actually that was actually the goal. You know, yeah. from the start we said 0.5 is the minimum. But since he had like a, a pretty good amount of weight to lose, uh, we we just established that a uh, one kg per week would be accept acceptable. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And I must say, around like uh, week 20, I started feeling really really weak. I didn't have as much motivation as uh, before. Uh, yeah, and I think that was uh, like the sign that I, I needed a, like a break, a break from the diet. Yeah, and keep in mind, after 20 weeks, he had lost 20 kg. Okay, that's no joke. Okay, that is 20 weeks of just killing it day in and day out in the gym. And also following, you know, yeah. his meal plan being on low calories, uh, 20 weeks long. Okay, yeah. so it can be very taxating on the body. So a diet break is definitely necessary after yeah. such a yeah. long time. So what do you think of this gym? Hey, pretty sick gym, man. Pretty sick. Music pretty loud, so I don't know if you guys can hear me right now. Very good, but the gym is pretty dope. It has freaking awesome machines. The lighting, the netty lighting is on point, <laughs> so that's a plus point. So I like it a lot, man. I like it a lot. What do you think? I like it also. I like it. Yeah, it's cool. New machines, everything's cool. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 
and like um, yeah, like weighing myself. In the beginning, I, I weighed myself like every day, but that that stressed me out. Like if I saw like uh, I weighed, for example, uh, 90 90.1 kg today and tomorrow I weigh again and I weigh like 90.3. Oh. It, it, demot it demotivates me. It demotivates and, you. Yeah, it stressed me out. So I, I started to weigh myself like once a week. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I personally like weighing myself every single day. You know, it keeps me on track and it, it allows me to keep track of the progress every single day. But uh, I mean, not everybody is the same. Yeah, like, like for, me, for, the same. for me, as well, it was, it was uh, much easier to like weigh myself once a week so I can like. For example, I weighed on uh, the Tuesdays, and I had one week to kill it in the gym, mm. to go hard in the gym, and then uh, to see the results next week. So that that motivated me to, to put more effort in, in the gym. Yeah. To yeah to lose the one kg per week. Yeah. To okay. reach the goal. So so you you're saying like that was one of the biggest challenges for you during this journey was. Uh, Weighing yourself every week was very motivating, so yeah. you had to adjust and make a change and started uh, weighing yourself weekly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was that was hard, and but yeah, along the way it, it, it got easier. Okay. It got easier, and I got more motivated after every week. You see, you lost, you lose one kg every week. Yeah. It motivates me to, to keep going. To keep on, to keep yeah. on going. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. And. Uh, what would you say would, would be another another like challenge uh, you have uh, overcome during this uh, period? Uh, how to track my meal? How to okay. fit what I want to eat in my calories per day? Because j just so everybody is aware of this, he's been on if it fits your macros yeah. since the very start. Okay, since the very start, he has no food restrictions whatsoever. Right. It's been years, years since I've been able to use this freaking machine. It's so freaking awesome, man. Fits for macro, it's a lifesaver. Yeah. I'm the type of person that if I want to eat a hamburger, I'll eat it. I'll make sure to, to put it in, in, in my macros. If I have to like fast the whole day just to <laughs> eat that hamburger, I'll do it. But it, it, it allows yeah. you to stay on track, right? Yeah, yeah, and that and that, and that helps a lot because you know you, sometimes if you're too strict on the diet, you want to eat a hamburger, and if you eat it, you'll feel guilty. You feel guilty. Yeah. yeah. But this way you can just fit everything into your daily calories and still see the progress. Okay? You do not. You do not have to eat. Broccoli and chicken and chicken and rice every single day, okay? Those days are long gone. Science has proved that what matters is your total caloric yeah. intake, okay? Daily caloric intake. And if you adjust the macros around it, you'll be able to keep as much muscle as possible while being in a calorie deficit, all right, guys? And it actually it helps a lot uh, being in a relationship. Sometimes the, the girl wants to, you know, go out to eat. Go out, yeah, because yeah. life goes on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life don't stop for your goals. Exactly. So you have to, you have to adjust. And yeah, if it fits my macros, it helps a lot. Being in a relationship. Yeah. When you, when you go out to eat, you can you can go to a restaurant, order something that fits your macros, fits your macros. and still have a good time and still keep going on your track, keep going with the calories. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, that's a tip. Uh, you, you, you just need to kind of, instead of trying to find excuses, try to find the balance, yeah. you know, in, in balancing your goals together with your 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 lifestyle, your daily lifestyle, your relationships, your friends, everything like that. You do not need to necessarily put everything on hold. It is going to require you to make some sacrifices along yeah. the way, of course, but uh, I mean, you, the goal is to try to find balance in between all of those things and to be able to create a better lifestyle for yourself. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to be like a bear hibernate. Go in, go in hiding, stay at home, eat salad, go to the gym, home gym. You don't have to do that. You can still go out, eat what you like. Yeah, yeah. While Socialize, still, yeah. While still seeing problems. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, look what we found. A freaky 
freaking arm blaster, okay? It has been also years since I last tried this out. Now, my elbow is still fucked. And my wrist is still fucked. I'm just fucked all over the place. <laughs> We're gonna do arms nonetheless, okay? Okay, the kid, I'll stop. Like the thing is, I work, I work uh, on two days per week. I work fr far from home. So like, I, when I work uh, far from home, I literally uh, go to work from like uh, around five and a half o'clock. Yeah. Five o'clock? In the morning. In the morning. In the morning, yeah? Very I, early. I leave house and I come back like 11 at night. 11? That's a whole day of whole day, yeah. yeah. So I make sure that as soon as I get off work, I go directly to the gym in the city where I work to get my work in, to get my workout in. And after my workout, I go home and eat. And then you have a very big meal, right? Yeah, very big meal. I, I fast for the majority of the day. I drink a shake, drink water. Yeah, and uh, when I get home, I eat. But that that, that that's that helps me because if I start with working, I, I have to ride like uh, one and a half hour to get home. Mm. And when I get home, I, I know for sure that I'll be tired. You'll be tired, and, and you'll I, skip. Yeah, I ain't got motivation to go to the gym, so I'll skip it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so it's uh, adjusting yourself to the situation yeah. that you're at. Yeah. Instead, you you know you will fail if you go home and. Uh, will not go to the gym so you make sure you hit the workout before yeah. you get on that long drive and this way you will get your workout in go home your workout is done so it's just a matter of trying to adjust your daily routine around yeah. things that you have to do like go to the gym and like eating grabbing your meals yes. and, and everything like that and he actually like do you have maybe tips for people that, uh, that I mean fast or that get hungry during the day, you know, because he fasts for a very long time, okay? He does fast for yes. a very long time. And uh, I personally also do it when I'm on a diet. And I personally uh, fast during the morning, but then I'll have something to eat at around 12 o'clock, you know, but he does fast for a long period of time. So what do you do to be able to, to not feel that hungry throughout the day? You know, because when I eat, I like to feel, I like to feel, uh, Full. Very full. Yeah. So you like to have bigger meals. Yeah. So I'll fast for, um, for like till 12 o'clock. I don't eat nothing. Yeah. And like at 12 o'clock, I'll, I'll uh, have a shake. And then I'll drink water for the majority of the day. And do you drink coffee? No, I don't drink coffee. Okay. I, I do drink tea. So I drink tea at work for the majority of the yeah. day. Water or tea. And right like half an hour before I go to the gym. I'll eat uh, yeah, something small, really small. Yeah. Sometimes I don't eat. I'll just uh, have a pre-workout and I'll go to the gym. And do you, do you feel like weak throughout the, the day? No, no. I, I guess I'm used to it. Yeah, so, used so to it. yeah, I don't, I don't feel it. And it's also a matter of getting used to it. You know, yeah. at the start, it, it will be hard. You're gonna feel hungry, you know? But, uh, I mean, uh, it's just a matter of uh, just getting used to it. And for some people, it might work, and for others, it might not work, like my girlfriend hates it. She doesn't <laughs> like uh, fasting at all, but I like it because it allows me to eat a lot more throughout the day, bigger meals also, you know? You do not necessarily have to split your meals every three to four hours like, uh, I mean, a lot of people believe. And, but uh, you can also have uh, bigger meals and bigger portions. And uh, like I said at the beginning, what matters is your total daily caloric intake, okay? If you're hitting your calories for that day, you will make progress. No matter if you're splitting the meals every two to four hours or if you're eating the whole amount of calories at the end of the day, it does not matter, right? You might feel better using the one or the other, but it's just all a personal preference. All right, guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, I mean, this little talk, this little conversation. I don't know how long it's been, but uh, I mean, hopefully you
you guys take away some tips from Rocky Mar because uh, I mean he has been absolutely killing it and I mean I'm, I'm, I do not have <laughs> words to explain how dedicated this guy is and uh, his journey is very very inspiring you know so I hope it motivates you guys also and we're not done yet I mean we're gonna keep growing after this ice break uh, we're gonna get back to it yes. and uh, keep on going with the journey guys so uh, stay tuned because there will be a lot more episodes of the Uprising series, all right, guys? But uh, we're not done with the workout yet, so we're gonna do something else, yeah. something fun. Yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah. Rolling another, I'm stuck in my seat from the whole control of my speech Yeah, I've been trying to get off this couch for a minute and a whole damn week No kidding, I'm skinny, I cannot eat Got a million motherfuckers that depend on me Yeah, every friend in my family If I'm a girl, every fan I meet myself I'm too long till I'm too off Come down, to make new thoughts like jump Alright guys, but with that, I want to finish off this video right here. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video and enjoyed watching us work out and talk about Ron Limar's biggest challenges throughout his journey. The gym we went to was super, super dope, guys. So if you guys are ever in The Hague or are ever near Ray's Wake, then go check it out because it was freaking, freaking dope. So shout out to them. After that awesome session, we went ahead and had a great very delicious meal and that was that for the night guys so with that being said guys i'm gonna finish up this video right here remember as always that i'm a certified personal trainer so if you're looking for a workout routine a meal plan or online personal training hit me up on embeddedbodies.com all right guys so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give a like on this video and let me know what you think of it in the comments down below all right so guess i'll see you soon later guys